Hello people, today I'll make some vignette diorama for my English longbowman figure. I have some few reference pictures, and base on it I'll need some grass and chopping wood for the barricade. So let's start it. First up, I use an air dry clay from Degoya to make some ground. This clay need to be mixed with a little bit of water to soften, and knead down the clay to the base to making ground. Since it's a air dry clay, just leave it a couple hours until it's hardened. After that I'll using the static grass that I buy it in miniature market. This static grass is already stand upright and they sell it in a strip. So if you don't have static grass applicator this will come in handy. Just super glue the drying clay. And put the static grass on top. Now for the barricade thing, I use a wood chopstick, and cutting and shape it with my hobby knife. Carving the wood with a sharp shape at the end to resemble a barricade. In battlefields, these barricades are used to protect archers from cavalry attacks. I airbrush the chopstick with AK British uniform shadow as a base color. Then using a mix of AK British Uniform Base and Vallejo Flat Yellow, I begin to dry brush to simulate wood texture on it. Add some Vallejo flat white to brighten the color. And continue to dry brush the tip. After that, you set the three barricade on diorama. And there you go, I finished for the ground. Next I'll add some dart with my 3D printer for some detail. Carefully to cut the support of this dart 3D print, since it's too thin, I made a break the dart. Resin 3D print it's good to print tiny details, but still you need to clean up the support and sanding the marks. With AK British Uniform Shadow, I painting the dart as a base coat. And mix Vallejo Flat Black with Vallejo Flat White to make grey color for the feather of the dart. I use Vallejo Wash Black to rise the detail on the feather.
Okay, that's the end of the video. If you like this kind of video, please subscribe, share, and like it. If you have some question about this video, please leave comment below. Thanks for watching and see you guys again on my next video.